guys, I've just arrived in Kunming. It's the capital of Yunnan province. I'm just here for a few days before I head off on some other adventures in the province. And the thing about Kunming is people usually come here just for that reason, it's kind of as a transfer point for, you know, explorations deeper into Yunnan. I'm sorry, I don't have a role for love to play. Oh. But Kunming is actually a really charming and beautiful city and I kind of wanted to show that side for tourists who may be stopping through here on the way to other locations. So I just arrived at my hostel, Upland Youth Hostel, and it's super weird because when I was in Kunming five years ago I stayed at this hostel and I just booked this without really even thinking about it. How cool is this hostel? So this is my room, you know, it's small, cozy, just enough room for my backpack, but lovely view. I always tell people, if you want to see a glimpse of the real China, come to a public park. I don't think there's anywhere else you can see so many different elements of Chinese life, whether they be modern or traditional. There's always something happening here. <laughs> I'm really in the middle of the action right now. Over here we have some dance performance. Over here we have some minority tribe performance. Over here there's an orchestra playing. And there's something else going on over here. Best place to be right now. <laughs> Kunming is also famously known as the city of eternal spring. It has a really good climate here, neither being too cold in the winter or too hot in the summer. And there's always flowers here no matter what time of the year you come. I guess Kunming is also a bee's paradise. I happen to be here at a particularly good time. It's so great, all the streets are lined with these beautiful pink flowers. The trees look so beautiful, it's almost like they're fake trees. <laughs> like, how is this real? Oh my goodness, I just realized this is all rosemary. This is the biggest rosemary bush I've ever seen in my life. Public herb gardens are definitely something I can get behind. And of course for my first meal in Kunming I have to go find myself some Guotiao Mi Xian which are uh, uh, translated to crossing bridge, crossing river bridge rice noodles um, and they're super super delicious. It's a Kunming and Yunnan specialty. This place had quite good reviews. Let's see. I really like it when I see this sign in Chinese restaurants. So they've first given me this chicken broth kind of soup and all these ingredients and then they bring the rice noodles here. And I guess it's kind of a DIY type thing here. The noodles. So I'm not really an expert on these noodles so I don't know if I've done it correctly. I think I need to get a, a local's advice. So it turns out yesterday I was doing it really, really wrong. What I was doing is just picking and choosing the ingredients I thought looked nice and putting it inside. But I asked my Weibo friends, um, can you teach me how to properly eat guo tiao mi xian? So there was a guy on my Weibo who told me he's been living in Kunming for 31 years and he has a lot of experience eating these noodles. He told me that the thing to do is to first put in the egg and he also stressed that it's important to put the raw ingredients in first so that the soup can actually cook them. And then once you've put all the meat in, you put in the vegetables. And then I'm just going to give it a few minutes to just let the meat cook through because the last thing I want to be doing is eating raw meat in China. I now understand the idea of these noodles. You want to let all the ingredients, um, raw flavors mix together. And so today I have uh, <laughs> all the ingredients in my little bowl of soup. So now I am going to put in my noodles. 
And then I had a couple of people who said that they think that the flavor is enhanced when you put a little bit of chili or even a little bit of vinegar in it. Chili oil, because it is a clear broth, so for some it may be a little bit plain, so. Okay, let's taste. Wow, it's like a completely different soup to what I had yesterday. It really makes a huge difference putting all of the ingredients in, including all the raw ingredients that you may be a bit scared to dabble with in China. Thank you for the recommendations, all my friends on my Weibo. <laughs> so today I really decided to get out, stretch my legs and get even more in touch with nature than I have, <laughs> than I have already in Kunming. And I'm here at Dianche Lake. Um, which is one of the biggest freshwater lakes in China and there's actually one side of it just here that I can't see the end of um, So it's really really big and there's a lot of activities you can do around here um, one of which is uh, Seeing uh, and feeding the seagulls and for me as an Australian I've seen enough seagulls in my life So that is something that you know doesn't super attract me. This is just a shit on the head waiting to happen but there's also a lot of hiking routes. You can see there's a beautiful mountain behind me. There's also something known as the Dragon Gate, which I've been told is a bit of a highlight. Something that's really striking to me is just how amazing the pollution is here. Like, the sky is so blue and everyone in Kunming seems to be really, really proud of the fact that, you know, as a, as a capital city of the province, it has such good air quality. It really is a great city in China to be out and about. Okay, I'm sorry, but what is this girl doing? China has such sexual statues. So I definitely have to say, and I'm sure you can see through this video, that Kunming is probably the most chilled out, laid back of the capital cities in China. But the fun doesn't stop with Kunming, because if you're here, you're probably going somewhere else in Yunnan. For adventuring and exploring and beautiful scenery, Yunnan is probably one of my favorite provinces. The route that I did five years ago and the route that's probably most popular with tourists is the one starting from Kunming, heading into Dali next, a beautiful river town, then Lijiang, um, and then up into the Tiger Leaping Gorge, and if you have time, even going up further into Shangri-La. And just a, just a warning, Shangri-La isn't what it once was. It used to be beautiful. Um, I was there just before it burnt down, but then there was an awful fire which, yeah, burnt the city down, and now, um, now there's a recreation. I've heard is still pretty, but it isn't what it once was. And so this time I'm here in Yunnan, I'm taking a very different route. I didn't see any of the south pretty much when I was here last time, so today I'm hopping on a plane to Sichuanbana, which is really, really far south, pretty much on the border of Laos. After Sichuanbana, I'm going to be heading to Puar, a famous tea growing region. And then I'm going to be spending um, a week or so living with a village that's known for its abundance of minority tribes and how they all live together in peace and harmony. So you can expect some fun videos about Yunnan to come. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed Kunming at least. And if you decide to stop over one day, maybe you'll spend a few extra days. Well, I'm off now to go catch a flight. I'll see you next time from uh, Sichuanbana. <laughs> Bye.